Hello everyone, it's time for a TikTok. Today we will talk about Mary Cassatt, who is an American painter and printmaker. She was born in Allegheny, Pennsylvania in 1844, but lived much of her adult life in France, where she became friends with Edgar Degas and later exhibited among the Impressionists. Impressionism is a style of art that began in Paris in 1860s, and these paintings capture a feeling or experience rather than being very accurate. Cassatt often created images of the social and private lives of women, especially showing the intimate bonds between mothers and children. As a successful, highly trained woman artist who never married, she portrayed women and mothers with dignity and that they had a more in-depth, meaningful inner life. Today, we will take a look at some of the more popular paintings of Cassatt. Our first painting is the child's bath, that was inspired by Japanese wood blocks and depicts a mother bathing her child, holding up the child firmly and protectively while washing the child's feet. Notice how the left arm of the child braces against the mother's thigh while the other hand holding on the child's leg. This painting truly reflects the dignity of motherhood. One of Cassatt's largest oil paintings is an unusual painting compared to her other artworks. It's titled The Boating Party and depicts a woman, baby, and man in a sailboat. While it does show her familiar theme of a mother and child, most of her other pictures are set in domestic interiors or gardens. In this painting, Cassatt expertly contrasts the dark figure of the oarsman with the colorfully dressed figures of mother and child. After visiting the great Japanese print exhibition in Paris in 1890, Cassatt started collecting Japanese prints, which had a significant influence on her. In this picture, Cassatt placed the horizon at the very top of the frame in the Japanese fashion. Next, we have Woman with a Pearl Necklace in a Loge, which is one of a series of theater scenes in Paris created by Cassatt in the late 1870s. The painting shows a woman, assumed to be her sister Lydia, seated in front of a mirror with the balconies of the Paris Opera House reflected behind her. This painting demonstrates the influence of Edgar Degas, one of her close friends, especially in the effects of lighting. Cassatt and Degas had a long period of collaboration and he also introduced her to other Impressionist artists. Cassatt also made several paintings of local Spanish subjects during her stay in Spain in 1873 using vibrant colors and exquisite brushwork. Offering the panel to the bullfighter depicts a young woman offering a glass of water to a bullfighter who dips panal, or commonly known as honeycomb, into it to make an energizing drink. The bullfighter costume is shown with the decorations and elaborateness of the Torero's outfit that the Spanish call the suit of lights. Next, we have Lady at the Tea Table, that depicts Mary Dickinson Riddle, who was Cassatt's mother's first cousin, as she is seated at a table set with a tea service. The tea set is gilded blue and white porcelain from the city of Guangzhou in southern China. The painting exemplifies Cassatt's impressionist style. The emphasis is placed on the woman's contrasting outline and her jewelry matches the gold gilt on the tea service. Similarly, the, the faint blue hues used in the background draw our attention to the deeper blues of Riddle's eyes and the porcelain. In our last painting called Little Girl in a Blue Armchair, light enters the picture through the French doors in the background and brightens the texture and pattern of the four large blue chairs in the room that are arranged in a haphazard way. The brownish gray floor in between them is painted with an energetic brushwork that gives it a life of its own. In contrast, the little girl flopped on a chair in a moment of boredom or exhaustion and the small dog are in a state of absolute rest. Cassatt's beautiful artwork has earned her a place in the pantheon of the great Impressionist artists. For our art project for today, in the style of Cassatt, we will try to draw two figures and show a relationship between them. 
Now think of a relationship that you want to show. It could be yourself with a parent, a sibling, a friend, a teacher, or even a pet. Now in most of Cassatt's paintings, she tried to show a connection between the two figures by either uh, them sharing an activity or holding hands, embracing, or making eye contact. So think about how you want to show your relationship. Now I decided to draw myself and my son um, and you know right away by taking a look at the picture you can see that there is affection between the two figures. I have my arm around his right shoulder and the other arm gently holding on to my son's left arm. Um, my son and I love to take walks in the botanical gardens and hence in the background I've, I've shown trees and grass. Now for this project you will need dark colored construction paper, pencil, eraser, and colors, color pencils or crayons. To begin, you will start by drawing your two figures. Now whilst drawing, make sure that your figures occupy a large portion of your picture as compared to the background. Once you have drawn your picture, next we will use color pencils to color it in. But instead of just filling it in, in the style of Impressionists, we are going to do short strokes to color our picture in. Remember, Impressionist art is not very accurate. The short brush strokes help show movement to your picture. Now for the background, you can see that I've used a lot of squiggly lines to make my trees. According to the Impressionists, you don't have to make a very accurate picture. You can just try to make, give an idea or impression of what you are trying to make. Well, I'm going to continue coloring my project and I hope you have fun making yours. And we'll see you next time.